नमस्ते फ्रेश यूरिन कैन इट बी यूज फॉर इंजेक्शन इंट्रा डर्मल और इंट्रा मस्क्यूलर इंजेक्शन कैन इट बी यूज दिस जनरल क्वेश्चन इज बींग आस्ड वेल यूरिन वेन इट कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द बॉडी इज ऑलवेज टाइल एंड इफ इट इज कलेक्टेड विथ ऑल एसेप्टिक प्रिकॉशंस देन इट कैन बी यूज फॉर इंट्रा मस्क्यूलर and intradermal injections this technique is nowhere mentioned in traditional texts therefore it is adopted and developed later on by modern day practitioners of urine therapy there is no adequate evidence of its usefulness as well as harmful dangers generally from 1 cc to 10 cc sterile urine is injected in a cluetal muscles some practitioners have reported usefulness of intramuscular urine injections in obesity autoimmune diseases chronic inflammatory conditions and even in allergic diseases actually uh, if we refer some research papers in 1960s there is one doctor from houston that is dr brzezinski he developed the methodology of giving urine injections what he did is he extracted certain antineoplastic agents from a human urine and injected intramuscularly in the same person and he found very good results well for injection we understood that we have to use a very sterile in, uh, urine and we have to be careful about the hygiene second uh, important application of uh, urine therapy is a sublingual urine drops actually sublingual means under the tongue when few drops of self urine are administered via sublingual route it gets quickly diffused in the blood stream through the tissues under the tongue and giving instant relief this technique is found to be very useful in various types of immunological allergic and hypertensive conditions there is a one researcher named as mr nakao he is from japan and he has uh, established one uh, institution named as miracle cup of liquid institution and he recommends this sublingual drinking of urine what it says that when you keep urine sublingually and very very slowly you when you swallow that urine there are certain receptors there are certain sensors in your throat region which sensitizes certain glands in our brain and it helps to improve the immunity within our body well for using sublingual method we have to use a self urine as well as it should be a fresh one and those who are suffering from a kidney failure can practice sublingual urine drinking that is he cannot drink more so what he can do is two or three spoons of urine he can keep it sublingually and swallow it slowly morning afternoon evening and we have found that it is very effective to reduce the serum urea and creatinine levels thank you